enjoying retirement. Generally speaking, retirees have more time on their hands, meaning that it is easier for them to get out on their bikes. It is also generally true that retirees have more flexibility in their daily schedules, meaning that they are able to fit a daily cycling routine into their schedules. In addition, retirees are often in search of new and interesting travel experiences and opportunities. In my humble opinion, travel which involves cycling provides an incredibly exciting and intimate way to explore new places and to enjoy the experience of seeing them. Before I go into the details, please do not hit the subscribe button yet until you have viewed the total video so that you'll know if you want more videos like this from me. If you like something you see, just touch the thumbs up like button and wait on the subscribe button until the end. I will remind you then. Let's talk about our daily routines. Even before I was retired, I rode my bicycle two minus three times a week, sometimes carrying my laptop computer in a backpack to the local coffee shop for breakfast as a home office worker so I could start my work day with a jump start. The benefit of this process was that it provided me with my morning fuel, as well as putting me in a social situation for a few hours as opposed to the solitude of my empty house. Now that I am retired, I still do most of the things I used to do while working, except that my work day is now focused on my new bicycle tour business. Whenever possible, I try to come up with other chores and tasks I can accomplish by bicycle. Examples include post office trip, taking the bike to the bank, visiting the pharmacy or grocery store, my doctor or orthodontist, a change of clothes in my backpack when I go to the gym taking my bike for a ride while my car is being serviced at the dealership. By using the bike, you can often avoid traffic jams and detours when going to a community parade or other event. Participating in the election. Going back to the subject of travel, I feel that there is no better way to see interesting places than by riding a bicycle. Car travel, especially in foreign countries, is relatively quick and efficient but that comes with a whole set of problems and costs, such as finding and paying for parking, and paying for fuel while keeping one's concentration completely on the road and not on the sights of the world around. Have you ever been in a small Italian or French village and struggled to navigate mazes of streets that are just about the width of an American sidewalk? And then you need to find a place to park so that you can get out of the car and walk for a while. To put it simply, it can be a very stressful, an intimidating experience. An alternative to see these kinds of places within the framework of a guided or unguided bicycle tour is to take part in a guided or unguided bicycle tour. It should be noted that there is an additional advantage of cycling in Europe in particular. The Europeans understand cyclists and they welcome them. As a result, there is a challenge to overcome. Europe has a higher proportion of regular cyclists than the United States. And I think it is safe to say that by looking around the streets in Europe, you will see that the general population looks a lot more slim and fit than the general population of the United States. It is a great opportunity for retirees to retool themselves in order to give the bicycle a greater role in their daily lives, making them happier, healthier, and more productive. As promised, here's the point where you can subscribe, add comments or questions, and hit the bell to be reminded next time I have a, a new download and before you leave check out this video